why you can't trust women. Here's the return of the red pill, guys. So I'm going to get into uh, a more of a science-based argument for why you can't trust women. Uh, I've done a few coaching videos in the past on my channel, uh, many of which racked up hundreds of thousands of views and tens of thousands of likes <laughs> when I talked about how why you can't trust women. But uh, And I gave a lot of factual evidence, but here I, I kind of want to give you more of a science-based argument for why you can't trust women. And the main reason why you can't trust women is because most women out there have what's called a dual mating strategy, right? This is something we talk about commonly in the red pill. They have rules for Chad and rules for Brad, right? And basically the rules for Chad are, uh, there are none. <laughs> Chad gets to do whatever he wants. He gets, to, he gets to get away with murder, right? He gets to get away with treating her terribly. He doesn't have to put any effort in. He doesn't have to buy her anything. He doesn't really even have to invest in her. Almost like a hot chick, all he has to do is show up to the party, okay? Free invite, free booze, free access to whatever he wants. Whereas Brad, no, 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 not so easy. You don't just get a pass, Brad, okay? I'm not that type of girl. Okay? I'm not just going to, you know, allow you to take me out on a $300 dinner and you expect me to give you that kiss on the cheek? Are you kidding me, Brad? What are you thinking? I might you think I'm really like that? You know, meanwhile she's doing, you know, the dirty uh, like the dirtiest nastiest things in bed with Chad, right? So you have to understand, most women have what's called a dual mating strategy, right? Rules for certain type of guys that well, rules for, you know, yeah, certain type of guys and no rules for other guys. And this is actually called strategic pluralism if we really want to get uh, science based here. However, um, let's get to hit this light source real quick. Uh, according to Google, I mean, even Google's honest about this, which is very shocking. They haven't suppressed this, right? Because usually Google will suppress things like this because they don't want you to know about anything that, you know, makes, you know, sheds women a bat in a bad light or makes them look slutty or, you know, makes them not look an <laughs> angelic. Uh, Google's going to suppress they're suppressing a lot of these articles, which is why me and my team are trying to save as many as possible so we can cover them in the future, even if they take them down. So the dual mating strategy hypothesis, I'm reading this, this is right from Google. Dual mating strategy hypothesis proposes that women's preferences for uncommitted sexual relationships with men uh, displaying more masculine features and dominant behaviors increase during the high fertility phase of the menstrual cycle. So especially, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, me and my pickup students know this, is that when a girl is menstruating, right, basically when she's on her period, that is when she is the horniest. You might have known this, you know, noticed this with your own girl or girls you've dated in the past. Like they, you know, when they're on their period and they're all bloody down there, that's when they want to have sex the most and it's you're kind of like eh, when's this end man I don't you know I don't want to get I don't want to do that right it's kind of just gross and gets everywhere it gets on the bed sheets you can't really clean it off I, you have to put a towel under her <sighs> yeah, it's pretty gross but that you know is when women are typically the horniest right when they want sex the most and this is when they are just more open to talking to you as a man. I mean, me and uh, some of my advanced wingmen, what we would do is we would go to, uh, back when we used to go to a lot of college campuses, we still kind of do every now and then. I can't really get away with that as much anymore because now I look like a like a gym teacher there or something like that. Or you know, some dude just like, this is a guy walking around here, this old dude. <clears throat> But we would go to like UCLA, USC, um, you know, these colleges down in uh, SoCal. And we would kind of look for women who looked blushed in their cheeks, right? That's, that's usually a, a dead giveaway that she's on her period. And there, there are certain signs you could look at in a woman. You could tell like, oh, this chick's menstruating right now. 
I'm a cold approacher because you know she's at her horniest, right? And without fail, I kid you not, without fail, these chicks were just so down to talk to you, so down to give you their number, so down to bounce with you to go get some coffee or even go to dinner, even go further than that. I mean, not to get gross, and I'm not advocating for this. I mean, I've changed my way since, but I can't tell you how many girls I had sex with that were on their period. <laughs> and I know the first time because I just met them on the fly. And, you know, and so I know from personal experience that, yeah, <laughs> Beyond the science, you know, all, this, all the studies and all the science behind this, which is all factual, by the way, from personal experience as a professional pickup artist, um, yeah, it works. <laughs> it works. But again, this is something that I teach more of my advanced students. I mean, guys that who are already good at cold approach, we're, we're not, we don't get approach anxiety when it comes to walking up to hot women and talking to them and getting their numbers and spinning them around and making out and, you know, going down to the... The, the 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 closest venue and you know physically escalating verbally escalating um we you know would purposely go after you know these targets uh where they look like they were on their period right and usually you want to we would do this in a um target what we call a target rich environment where there's lots of choice right there's lots of choice so obviously you know if there's lots of choice i want to choose a woman or I want to invest my time in the women that are most open to talking to me, right? The hottest women are most open to talking to me because you only have so many hours in a day. You can't, you know, do 24 hours of straight pickup and not get tired. I mean, me and my wings, we would get tired after a few hours of just talking to random people, listening to them and, you know, having to exert energy into this. I mean, a lot of times we would carry like protein bars with us, right? To give us energy, um, cliff bars, you know, Powerade. I mean, it's it's like a sport. It's crazy <laughs> once you really get into it. Um, so yeah, you would only want to do something like this in a target-rich environment where there's lots of beautiful women around. You know, um, college campuses, nightclubs, busy you know busy venues, right? Uh, however, if you're in like a park or something like that, you don't have much choice. Uh, you're just going to have to go for whoever's there and the chick might not be on her period and you're just going to get her, you know, at her normal emotional state versus, you know, this heightened state where she's like down to do a whole lot of stuff, right? Um, but regardless, getting back to my point, uh, the reason why you can't trust women is because they have a dual mating strategy, right? You know, the, again, strategic pluralism, and I'll cover this article in a future video where we'll really break this stuff down, but I just kind of wanted to give you the broad strokes about it. Now, does this mean that every woman out there, including, you know, uh, you know, the fantastic or your relationship you're in now, the chick is going to, you know, be on her period and walk around like Target or something and some crazy pickup artist is going to be like, hey, girl, let's go. Uh, no, it doesn't mean that at all, right? It just really depends, right? It just really depends on um, if she's for the streets or not, right? Because a lot of good girls, and I have met a lot of good girls in field that were in committed relationships, and I saw those plump cheeks, I saw the blush, I saw the red, the redness in her face, I knew she was on her period, I started talking to her, and she... Um, she was like, nah, I, as much as cute as you are, as much as I'd love to, I can't. I, I really am, am with this guy, and I would not be able to sleep at night. I, I, I feel terrible. And I, of course, I could have pushed it as a guy, but um, I didn't. And most guys don't have that skill anyway, so you don't have to worry. Most guys don't have the skill to just walk up and take your girl. There's not a whole lot of professional PUAs walking around there, you know, just trying to take guys' women, you know. And no, that doesn't really happen. Um, most guys suck at social dynamics, so yeah, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about it at all. I mean, my girl, you know, is so much younger than me, so much hotter than me. She's, you know, basically 22 now, and she gets hit on left and right. Am I worried? No. <laughs> I mean, most of those guys, we laugh about it, and uh, it helps It helps uh, me create content, too, because she tells me about some of the, like the mo the worst approaches and what the guy said, what he tried to do, and it it's always the same pattern, right? It's these guys just really need to get into mastery, right? Get into my seven months of mastery. You can, we'll see if you can uh, do better out there. But uh, yeah, so 
uh, for you guys in committed relationships, don't panic, don't freak out because most guys don't have the skill to pull this off. And most guys, as soon as a girl goes, oh, uh, sorry, I have a boyfriend, they're, they eject, right? And a lot of guys too will ask the girl, I mean, a lot of guys will flat out ask the girl, do you have a boyfriend? And of course, she'll say, yeah, if she's not interested, whether she has one or not, and the guy will just take off, right? Uh, so, and that's just bad game. You never want to ask the girl if she has a boyfriend. Just keep talking to her, and then she'll tell you eventually if she wants you to know, right? Uh, so, yeah, women, uh, most women have a dual mating strategy, right? Um, and really, the way you know if she's going to exercise her dual mating strategy is just based on um, whether she's cheated on previous boyfriends or not. And this is information you should know, by the way, right? Anybody you get involved with, you should be asking these questions, right? How many guys have you slept with? And have you ever cheated on any boyfriends? I, I, I always ask these questions without fail, right? Um, as well as, uh, has, have you ever had an STD? So really three questions. But these are very important questions. I wanna know right away before I go any further so I know what I'm getting involved with, right? And if she's like, oh, cheated on, like, yeah, pretty much all of them. I've slept with like 35 guys. Eh, no. Right? That is the type of chick who is going to exercise her dual mating strategy. Really? And really, any chick who slept with over um, 10 guys and has cheated on multiple boyfriends, I will tell you now, that chick will exercise her dual mating strategy. At some point, some dude's going to come along and he doesn't even that need to have that good to game, right? He doesn't need to be... Uh, uh, studying pickup he could just be charismatic he could just be good looking he could just have natural game take your girl right however if your girl hasn't slept around she's in the single digits she's a good girl doesn't cheat on her you know hasn't cheated on uh, her ex-boyfriends then yeah she's she's not the type who's going to exercise her dual mating strategy right i mean it would take a whole lot i mean and even then i most cases she's not going to do it right um, so, yeah, it's, it takes a certain type of woman to actually take advantage of the fact that she could play both sides of the field, right? She could, you know, get the beta provider Brad and also get access to the chat behind your back. Hey, why not? He'll never know. What, what he doesn't know won't hurt him, <laughs> right? So it takes a certain type of, you know, rotten person to do something like that, right? Especially because women have so much access to sex. It's like, okay, just don't be in a relationship. But, um, but yeah, so I just want to make sure, sure I covered at least most of the broad strokes of women's dual mating strategy and why you can't trust them and why you can trust some of them, right? I, I don't want to just throw complete shade at all women like, nope, all of you, all of you cheating biatches out there, right? Making rules for me. The Brad and letting the Chad get a free pass. No, not all of them are going to exercise that, right? Not all. I mean, some of them actually do have morals. But again, it goes just back to the baseline of how was her relationship with her father? Is she close with her family? Okay, was she raised properly? Does she respect men? Is she more traditional? Or is she one of these boss babe, alpha females, going to be single? I want to be like Chelsea Handler. I want to chase my corporate career. I'm, I'm not going to have kids until I'm deep into my 30s and 40s. And, you know, I, I hated my dad. Oh, screw him. You know, oh, I was raised by a single mom. You know, oh, I hate that red pill crap. Oh, man. You know, you Trump supporter. You know, if she's talking like that, then you can pretty much bet your bottom dollar that she is going to be taking advantage of the fact that she can exercise her dual mating strategy. Right. So. With that said, guys, drop your comments below. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to add in tonight's coaching video, anything I might have missed, anything you would like to say, drop them in the comments below. And as I've said, I will cover more of the, uh, more of the actual studies on this and we'll do like an article, you know, article video on this uh, just to back up all these claims to let you know it's not BS, it's, it's all factual, right? That's what I try to stick with here on my channel. Just try to try to stick with the data because otherwise people will be like, no, that's anecdotal evidence. You don't have any receipts to back that up. No, actually we have plenty of receipts to back this up. So yeah, drop your comments below guys. I'll see you in my next coaching video. I'm out. So until next time, 
This is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets, signing out from my garage here with my DeLorean. No, no bookshelves yet, guys. No bookshelves. But I'm going to sign out here. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Obviously, helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. I need your help to help me promote this stuff by subscribing to my channel, okay? It's free, doesn't cost anything. Hit that subscribe button, baby. Do it, do it now, son. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content, specifically for men, even further, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium alpha male secret channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. And that is to protect my content from YouTube in the event they shut us down one day, which they might, they might, right? But if uh, you're one of my premium subscribers on my premium alpha male secrets channel, you will always have access to all of my premium alpha male secrets content. And Right now, it's only one buck for the entire first month of premium alpha male content from me. So take advantage of it, okay? Take advantage of it. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.